Hi everyone, so in this video we will talk about uh, this new set of life cycle methods and we can do the groupings, okay. So these are new set of life cycle methods we have, sorry, let me start from beginning, okay. So while mounting the component we are executing these four life cycle methods, I mean constructor is not a, actually a part of life cycle, it is a part of ES6 class. So constructor is getting triggered, then we have get derived state from props, render and component did mount. Fix four methods, we can remember them. Constructor which is inis may be initializing the state, then get derived state from props, which may be the right candidate to update the state, then render and then component did mount. You can actually make a API calls in component did mount because we want to publish our component first before blocking it for an API call. Simple uh, constructor we are using to just initialize the state and then we are printing that state here using this dot state. We can also include this get derived state from props method. What it is doing, it is taking two argument, props and state and based on that it is returning you the, the new state. So favorite color was initially red. Now it will be based on whatever the props which you are receiving from the parent component. Okay, based on that we have actually changed the state of the component. So it is, you can understand the name get derived state from props, right? So it is actually deriving the state of this component from the props, which is, which it is receiving from the parent component. Render method is same. It is rendering your JSX. Now component did mount. This method you can use to do a lot of things to make an API call to update the state because rendering has already happened. Now what you can do is you can play around the state, you can check okay after making this API call what state should be, you can update the state here or you can do any asynchronous stuff here to update the state. Now coming to the update lifecycle, now you are actually doing this dot set state in the componented bound. Okay, it means you are updating a state. What will happen? If you are updating a state, then it is going to talk it is going to invoke this update lifecycle methods. Update lifecycle methods are these get derived state from props, should component update, render, get snapshot before update, and component did update. Only one has been added as a new and one has been removed. If we talk about the, pre, uh, the old older lifecycle methods and the newer ones. So get derived state from props, here also we have should component update, which will return true false, will decide do we want to re-render this component on the state change? Okay, now if you just see this. So this is our component and get derived state from props can be used to check the props on state. If any of these conditions met, like you can actually act on the props in state both and you can change the state. Okay. So what we are doing is this should component update is returning false, right? You can write these update lifecycle methods in your component. If you are returning should component update as a false, then re-rendering will not happen because a lot of things depends on what should component update is returning. First of all, if there is a need to override it, then only override it. Otherwise, do not need to define it here. It by default, it is returning true. You can override it and you can make it false if you want. If you prevent, if you want to prevent the re-rendering of component unnecessary, okay. So this is what we have. These are like different lifecycle phases. So what we are doing here is get snapshot before update is getting called once your component has been re-rendered again, and then component did update. And we have component did mount then component did update all these methods so component did mount is a lifecycle method for the rendering process we initialize the state component did mount updated the state now the again the same set of methods will execute derive state from props should component update then get snapshot before update and component did update okay you don't need to override should component update if you want you can do so if you talk about here we are using two components two lifecycle methods from the update sequence so component did mount is from the mount lifecycle methods. It is updating the state. Now once the state is getting updated, the same set of sequence derive state from props, render, sorry, derive state from props, should component update, render, get snapshot before update and component did update.
these are the life cycle methods which will trigger so after you did set state these two methods will get trigger in the sequence okay so what we will do is we will actually write the code and we will try to understand these new set of life cycle methods how they fit in our requirement what is happening when we are actually updating the state how we are able to derive the pro derive the state from the props either coming from the parent component or somewhere okay thanks everyone